today i'll talk about conversion selectivity and yield and then i'll solve one numerical example and there i'll show you how to find out conversion selectivity and yield of a chemical reaction now here first what is conversion conversion can be defined as the ratio of the reacting amount of feed component to its initial amount now conversion is nothing but moles of component of feed that react moles of the component introduced in the feed into 100 so that is conversion conversion is expressed as mole percent volume percent or weight percent now next is degree of completion degree of completion of a reaction is usually expressed as the percentage of the levitic reactant converted into the product despite the presence of excess reactant reaction do not always proceed to the extent resulting from the complete reaction of the limiting reactant so yesterday i solved one problem that is degree of completion next is selectivity selectivity can be expressed as the percentage of the total quantity of the limiting reactant that is converted into the product it is the ratio of the moles of a particular desired product produced to the moles of another undesired product produced in a set of reaction Selectivity is often used in a catalytic reaction where the catalyst is judged by its selectivity. Selectivity can be related to yield. For example, if yield is 100%, selectivity is 1. Now next is yield. Yield for a single reactant or product is the ratio of the weight mass or moles of the final product to the weight mass or moles of the initial reactant feed. So, yield is moles of desired product form into toxometric factor by moles of specific reactant consumed. The toxometric factor is the toxometric requirement in the moles of the specific reactant per moles of the desired product. Now, I am trying to solve one numerical problem. So, here is the um, that problem reaction analysis. Consider the following pair of the reaction. So, A converted to 2B that is desired product and another side reaction is going on A to C that is undesired product. Suppose 100 mole of A is feed to the batch reactor and final product contains 10 mole A, 160 mole of B and 10 moles of C. Now calculate first number the functional conversion of A, the percentage yield of B, the selectivity of B relative to C and the extent of the first and second reaction. So earlier maybe if you go go to my another video so you can um, I, I, I show you how to calculate extent of reaction for single reaction now here pair of reaction is there so how do you find out extent of first reaction and second reaction now this is the given data a to b desired a to c undesired initial moles of a feed is 100 mole and composition of the final product moles of a in the final product is 10 mole moles of b in the final product 160 mole moles of c in the final product 10 moles now first is fractional conversion of a so fractional conversion of a means moles of a reacted moles of a feed so feed reacted means 10 100 minus 10 so it is initial minus final so that is 90 and by 100 moles of a feed so 0 0.90 so that is fractional conversion of A. Next is percentage of yield of B. So percentage of yield of B. So moles of desired product form into toxometric factor by moles of specific reactant consumed. So here toxometric factor is half because A to B. So toxometric means here 1 and this is 2. So the toxometric factor is nothing but 1 by 2. So desired. So now percentage yield of B. So mole of desired product form. So that is 160 into toxometric factors half and moles of specific reactant consume uh, <coughs> specific reactant consume means uh, or you can say uh, that specific feed so that is 160 into uh, 2 half uh, by 100 into 100 so that is 80 version next is uh, the selectivity of B related to C. Selectivity is moles of formed, actually moles of desired product by moles of undesired product. So moles of B formed is 160, moles of C that is undesired product form 
so that is 10 so 160 by 10 so that is uh, 116 mole b by mole c next uh, extent of the reaction so here concept of extent of reaction can be extend to the multiple reaction for a set of reaction in a patch or continuous steady st reactor considering the dosimetric coefficient is nu and substance i in reaction j we can write so for one um, substance i substance we can write n i is equal to n 0 plus summation of a new i j into that zeta i or j i so now consider the pair of reaction a to 2 b desire a minus c undesired so we can write n a out so that is uh, any any time of n a the initial n a minus that xi that is coefficient 1 coefficient 1 so for first reaction for reactant minus so xi 1 minus xi 2 for b any time n b out n b 0 minus plus so that is coefficient 2 the report product is plus uh, coefficient so that 2 xi 1 and for the second reaction n c so for this uh, n c for n c here uh, nc out oh, you can write like that nc out any time any 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 time that nc out is equal to nc zero plus so uh, not plus so reactant coefficient is one so that is xi2 now we have all this data so initial moles a we have final also we have so any out so that is nothing but 10 initial zero so first reaction uh, that xi i minus xi 2 second this one so n b out is 160 n b 0 nothing initially no b is there so uh, plus 2 xi i so from here we can calculate that xi is nothing but uh, xi 1 is nothing but 80 now here so this is 80 and then from here 10 c that is out initially no c and xi 2 so from here we can easily calculate xi 2 is equal to 10 now if you back to this here so 10 is equal to 100 xi 1 is minus 80 minus 10 so from here you can easily calculate this equation is balance means xi 1 and xi 2 that is extent of reaction 1 extent of reaction 1 or extent of reaction 2 so that we can easily get so this is extent of reaction 1 extent of reaction 1 and this is extent of reaction 2 that's it for today